Welcome back to Munching with Monroe, where I cook shit. I should make an intro, shouldn't I? Today, we are making key lime pie. This recipe is super easy. I like literally could do this in my sleep. And it's really, really good, guys. I swear to God. I am making this, actually, I'm making this key lime pie for Thanksgiving. So hopefully, I get this out to you guys before Thanksgiving so you guys can bring it to and impress your parents and everything and your family members. It's creamy. It's sweet, it's tangy, it doesn't require eggs, minimal amount of baking, like it's, and it's so good and it's so simple. I can't wait to show you guys and I can't wait for you guys to also make it. Oh, also, oh my God, I didn't even regard oh, the new kitchen. So we moved, we moved out of our shit kitchen and now we're in a swanky, Stainless steel. Oh my god. <laughs> swanky. Just break it. Just cycling move in. Jeez. We're in a swanky stainless steel, gray quartz, countertop, sexy. <laughs> what? We still have the same fridge though. We couldn't part with everything. Okay, so first steps for the key lime pie is to set your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and while it's preheating, we're going to prep our pie. So all the ingredients that you need is lime juice, lime zest. I used a cheese grater. Usually graters have like multiple like little sides that you can use. Um, but if you have a zester, then good for you. <laughs> you need sour cream, a graham cracker crust. You can also make this. It's just butter and graham crackers, but it's, it's easy to just buy it pre-made. Um, you need sweetened condensed milk and <laughs> that's it. Nope, 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 that's not it. You need whipped cream. Yes, this is optional. You don't have to do this, but I like whipped cream on top of mine. So I buy like Cool Whip and I put it on top and I like decorate it all cute. You'll see at the end, but um, yeah, that's all the ingredients that you need for this recipe. Very easy. Um, I'm gonna get a bowl. I'm gonna have Jacob get a bowl. <laughs> Jacob. You can get it. Oh, the big bowl. Oh. I just getting like a normal bowl. Why would I get a bowl? Stop. Oh, you got it. Nice. Okay. So we have our bowl. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put in our sweet condensed milk right now. I got two cans of, it's just like a 14 ounce can of sweet condensed milk. Two of them usually do the job. You need about three cups of it. I'm gonna grab a spoon and kind of scrape all the excess out. All that creamy goodness. Because mm -hmm. you really want all of it. Give me that sweet sugary goodness. If you know where that's from, I'll be very happy. The next step is to add in our sour cream. Um, this might sound weird, but trust me, it's good. So for this recipe, you're gonna need a third cup of sour cream. A third of a cup. Everyone knows what I'm talking I don't about. Know what you're I'm gonna kind of scoop it. This smells disgusting. I hate sour cream. Okay, now we have that. Next, we're gonna put in the good kush. This looks like weed. <laughs> this is lemon zest. Not lemon, what am I saying? This is lime zest, um, not marijuana. Um, this is actually about a tablespoon already, but I'm gonna uh, zest a little bit more of my lime. So when you zest a lime or a lemon or any kind of citrus, you try and get all the green off, but once you hit white, you stop because the white part is actually very bitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my mixture. Bloop. I've already made some lime juice uh, last night, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up to three fourths cup. That's how much lime juice we need in this recipe. So I'm gonna cut up a few more limes. I'm just gonna cut it in half. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Lime. You could also buy lime juice. You could buy lime juice if you're super lazy. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just rolling out the limes so I can kind of release the juices from within. All right, so we have our lime juice and we're just gonna pour it <laughs> right in there. All right, so now we're gonna mix it. We're mixing, mixing, mixing. We want it to be very smooth. No, no, where are you going? Bye. Oh Bye. my gosh, you ran away Bye. from me. Bye, bitch. Come here. Come here, Luna. She ran away from me. I'm here for the key lime, okay? <laughs> what the heck? She's so weird. That's pretty good. Mmm. So that's our filling. So now we're going to take our graham cracker crust, open it up, and then we're going to go ahead and pour our filling into our crust. And now our, our oven is ready. So we're going to stick this in for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, this is so the filling can firm a little bit. When you check to see if it's done, there will be like little bitty like bubbles coming up, like little tiny ones, like not popping bubbles, but like little, like boop, you know what I mean? Like little pimples. Sure. <laughs> yeah, and if you like go and move it like this, it should barely wiggle. So see how it's like really wiggling right now? Mm -hmm. When you do it, when you go check for it, it should like, like barely wiggle. Like that. I'm gonna put in here 15 to 20 minutes. The timer went off. Do you notice when I jiggle it, it barely jiggled? I noticed. You noticed a barely a jiggle? I did. Take it out. Take that bad boy out. That means it's so now we're going to let this cool. I guess we can pop it straight into the fridge. And then we can wait like about 10 to 15 minutes or something. And then we can put the cool whip on top for filming purposes. If you were to make this the night before Thanksgiving, I would just leave this in the fridge overnight and then put whipped cream on top in the morning. This is best served cold, by the way, if you didn't know. So yeah, we're gonna put this in the fridge and then we'll do the topping for you guys. Okay, so the pie has been in the freezer for about like 10 minutes or so. Um, we just wanted it in there to kind of cool down pretty quick. The pie will be pretty, um, pretty solid. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to put some whipped cream on top. We're just gonna take some whipped cream and put it in the middle. And we're going to spread it out. Kinda like it to not exactly touch the crust, but get pretty close so you can still see the um, the bottom layer, the main filling part. And then I'm going to kind of do, this is so extra, but little swirlies in the, in the whipped cream. Swirly. So I kind of just lift up. So it kind of looks like meringue a little bit. Again, this part is also optional. I'm gonna get another lime and I'm gonna put some lime zest on top taking that same grater we had and just kind of just okay and then so what I'm gonna do hmm how do I want to cut this I might just cut it down the middle like so and then just do very sl thin slivers. Oh, this is such a good knife. You need a really sharp knife to do thin slices like this. Okay, so we're just gonna take the ones that we like and just bloop, stick them like that, just around the pie. Yeah, just 
Let your creative self take over. Yeah, what Jacob said. All uh -huh. right. Uh -huh. Like that. What's that? So that is my key lime pie. It, I mean, this pie is really, really good. I really hope you guys make it and enjoy it and love it. And I hope you guys loved this video as well. Um, but if you do plan on making this for Thanksgiving or for really any occasion, um, please let me know. And uh, I'd love to hear your experience and how it turned out for you guys. Um, oh my God, it smells so good. We're not gonna try it because we actually have to serve this for Thanksgiving, but we did have it tonight for a different occasion. We went to a friend's house and we brought over the same pie and we had it. And we both can say that it was very good. It was a hit. Everyone loved it. I also made this for my office. <laughs> Everyone loved it as well. So, um, yeah. I'm just kidding. So I'm going to stick this in the freezer. If you plan on making this the night before your special occasion or for Thanksgiving or whatever, um, that's the best way to preserve it, I guess is the right word. Um, so yeah, this is where it's going to go, but Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye. Happy munching. Happy munching.